Hello lovelies, welcome back to our channel. So, um, I recently, in this way, Team Moose Monster to Hall was talking about how I got these popsicle sticks to make fence embellishments for, for, um, spring crafts. So, um, my little helper's here today. Hi. Of Aurora. course, my name's Aurora. And so, um, I, we are going to build a little decorative fence embellishment. So um, I did make some before and I did show that in a swap that is on my channel. I'll put that uh, video in the description so you guys can see the ones I made before. Um, but what you'll need to make these embellishments is popsicle sticks, something to color them brown um, to make them look like fencing. Uh, we're using alcohol um, ink markers. Uh, you can also use paint, um, watercolor, um, what really just whatever you want. Crayons, um, crayons work too. Um, so pencils, yeah, colored pencils, yeah. So just anything like any kind of marker would work. And then this is for the greenery for the fence. And then we picked out a few pieces to decorate our fences with. So um, we're gonna need four pieces of popsicle stick and four of these will make two fences so we're just going to go ahead and do that I'm gonna move all of these little lovelies over here off to the side so we can so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these in half so I need to see how long they are these are four inches so we're gonna cut them at the two inch line no, I'm sorry, they're four and a half inches. So we'll actually want to cut them at two and uh, two and a third. So I have it right here. It's right here on, so like right here, it would be about right here. So I'm gonna measure them. I'm gonna mark them with the alcohol ink marker and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut them, so. Can I color mine? I'm not coloring it. I'm just marking it so I can cut it. Oh. So I have titanium scissors that I'm cutting them with. So I cut them in half and then this makes it easy. I can just do this. Oh, you also are going to need a nail file. That's right. You'll need a nail file to file the, the edges of the fence. If you decide to um, like do what I'm gonna do with them. You could just leave the popsicle sticks round if you want and just have round fences. So we can do, we'll do one in round fences, and like a round end, and we'll do one in a square end so you guys can see them both ways. So. That one's loose. I th don't think they're quite even. I need to make sure they even up. And then of course I have my hot glue gun on because we're going to use the hot glue gun. Okay, so here's the round ones and then we're gonna use these as the square. So, or as the, so what you do with these is you cut like a triangle in them like so. And then you just file the ends just a bit to make them look not so sharp. So you have like a little fence post. And then you do the same with this one. I believe you do the same with every single one. Yeah, so let's try to not cut this one so crazy. It's that I can't ever cut them easily I'm always messing them up so maybe y'all will be better at it than me so I'll just cut this side right here and then I don't know why I didn't just flip it and cut it like this that would have made more sense right so then we just there we go and then one more 
your elbow in me, babe. Oops, sorry. We're stretching and we don't have a lot of room to begin with. <laughs> okay, so they don't have to be perfect. I mean, unless you want them to be. And then you can actually just pencil them if you want them to be perfect. I kind of like my square ones to be kind of off because I feel like my fences are cute like that. But we'll leave them like that for now. So the next thing we're going to do is well, clean up our wood mess because there's a bunch of wood chunks right here. Yeah. So now we're going to take the markers, pick a color. Hmm. Okay. All right. So you want to color these or the triangles? The triangles. Okay. So we're well, trying not to color all of my desk. <laughs> okay. Um, which side is the smaller side? This side. There you go. Thank you. So you're just going to take your marker or whatever you're going to stain your wood with and you're just going to color it. These are pretty dark. I did them lighter, some lighter, but I don't mind it, the dark wood. It's not bad. So you're just going to color that in. I'll let you watch a watercolor while I do this one. So you can color all sides of it, but really the only thing that the front is the only one that needs to be colored. So to save time, I'm only going to color the front and the sides of mine. So as you can see, I have the sides in the front. So it's all colored in. I try to be careful so I don't get myself browned. That's okay. It comes off. It's a lot faster to color with the bigger side. Or... That's good. You can do the next one. Alrighty. I want to do the bigger side because it's easier for you and I think it will be faster for me too. Okay. Well then, put the lid back on the smaller side. Where's the lid? It's on the back of that one. And then open the bigger side. Coloring, coloring. Okay. There you go. Oh, here, do it. Do it out this way. Come back over this way so they can see you doing it. That way we're not boring them to death while we're coloring. For me, I think coloring's fun. Right? I yeah. That's funny. Okay, so. One time I colored an entire book. Well, except the, it's like a little cute little learning book. I just colored it. Oh, yes. The next one's done. Whoa, it looks kind of ventury. Yeah. Take a look. You got to do the edges. Oh. Do the edges. See how I did the edges? Okay, so my fence is done. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can actually leave it like this if you want it or color it completely dark. However you like it. So I have this foliage that I bought quite some time ago that we're going to use on this. So um, you can also use leaf um, leaves from flowers like, um, like, like this. Like these kind of leaves from like flower sets. You could also use die cuts, leaf die cuts, um, like really just anything, anything you want to put on your fence. You could like put a banner on your fence, like make it a little longer, put a banner. You could use it for like decorating for like a barbecue theme or a like summer barbecue theme or even like 4th of July. Uh, so, you know, the, the ideas are endless on how you could do your fence. Um, you could also get wire and put wire in between them. Um, I tried that and I couldn't figure it out. So we're going to just do it the way that I did it before. Okay, here. You take you take that and you color yours. I'm going to go to the next step, okay? Mom, can you help me with mine? Yeah, here. Let me just finish coloring yours so we can go to the next step, okay? Yeah, I also have a little trouble on the sides. It's okay. 
your sides are going to get glued anyway, and I'm assuming you're going to keep this little thing you make, so we'll just skip your sides for now, okay? Yeah, I think it will be cute for a little Barbie fence. Okay, here. There we go. Alright, so Rose is done. You were over, over markering that one. <laughs> so. I just want to... Let's put the markers away. Like a vintage. Vintage? Yes. Vintage-y. You, why did you say vintage? Well, I don't even know how you said that. Where are the mark? Where's the marker bag? Marker bag. Yeah, it was right there. Oh, oh. it's behind me. Okay. I was like, uh, I really need to get storage for my markers. Okay, so no, no, we're not doing that yet. Everything is in steps. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the fence together. So. I want to not color the sides. I just took some hot glue and just did this to attach them together. You put them flat so make sure they're not angled when they hot glue. It's okay if you get a little hot glue on the edges because you're going to cover up the front with your decorations for this particular one. If you're not going to do that, then just make sure your stuff is even and then you can actually just scrape the glue off when you're done off the front like so like I just scraped it off so there's like some excess glue right there I just take my nail and just scrape that extra glue off and pull it off Boop. and we're good so now I'm just gonna do the last also, one also be careful while you're using the hot yes like be careful so you want to burn yourself and if you're watching this and you're a little one like my daughter who's seven um, make sure that you're getting help with the hot glue gun or you're um, okay to use the hot glue gun by yourself. Or you're using a safe glue that doesn't burn. Okay, so like my fence these. is together. Yeah, like that. Like the Barry Arts glue. And the best thing to do is not put your arm over the hot glue gun. Yes. Like we just did. Because the base of the hot glue gun gets hot, hot too. So y'all be careful out there. Don't be burning yourself. Yeah, be very, very careful when using it. That is one lesson <laughs> that you can use. Um, yeah, because I third I blistered my finger on hot glue before. So Yeah, I still be Whereas right. always very careful and reminds me to remind everybody to be safe on it now <laughs> because I burned my hand on it. <laughs> Yeah. You using you making crafts on video. Yeah. When I make crafts on video. Okay, so our fences are glued together. So now we get our foliage. I okay. gotta find the end of it. Hold on, where's the end of it? I believe this is the end of it right here. There it is. Here we go. So I'm going to trim just a bit of this off. So these are, this is titanium scissors, so it cuts through wire pretty easily, as you can see. So we're going to take the little bit of foliage like this, and you can put it like at the bottom. You can have it in the middle, at the top. You can have it go crossways. So decide how you want your foliage, okay? Okay. There we go. And then I'm just going to move this out of the way, y'all. Um, can you use this for a bit? No. I want the line like yours. Like you this. You want it in two pieces? Yes. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So I'm going to use the sheepy on mine. So, oh, I was gonna take the sheepy. I have another one, babe. Oh, there you go. So, I pick like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do mine at the bottom too. So, you just add some hot glue where you want your foliage and you just stick it on. Just press gently, don't, tu don't touch the hot glue, Laura. Okay. <laughs> So, um, the ones that I did for my swap, I, uh, 
I um I did that cross I did it crossways so you'll see that different style if you want, go and watch that video. Okay, so then I think it looks there's a flower. Like this. Where'd that flower come from? Okay. You can do it how you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this part where so you don't burn yourself, okay? Okay. Is that right? Yeah. I'll just tell you where I wanted it. Okay. Okay, my sheepy. So, all right. I so now we have it. some decorations. We've got some flowers, a ladybug, and a sheep. Sheepy's a sticker. Okay, but we're going to glue sheepy, okay? okay. Make sure sheep, sheepy stays down because... All right, so I'm going to put my sheep in my foliage. So we're just going to add some hot glue to that little foam piece and we're just gonna press it down into the grass i want sheepy and now there's a sheep in my grass Here. okay let me add some hot glue so he'll stay or she will stay um it's definitely gonna be a sheep okay so war has got a sheep right there oh hers is cute okay so then you want to add a flower Let's add some little details. These are really big. Let's try some small details. Let me get my box that has all my little flowers in it. Okay, so I wanted to for... Here. Here, here. No, no, no. I'm sorry, using the big ones. Let's use the little ones. Okay, so guys, um, if you've been watching my haul videos, y'all know that I've been getting nail art charms. So um, this is nail art charms that I'm pulling out for Aurora. I want ladybug. Okay, I have one here. Right there. There's a ladybug. Okay, I want my ladybug. Where do you want it? Right here. Okay, watch out. Since it's super tiny. You gotta move them up so they can see them, babe. I wanted it there right go. there because there's a little missing spot for it. Okay. So just add some hot glue right here. And then we're gonna. Take this little nail art butterfly oh. ladybug and stick it right there. There we go. I want for mine. Move your arm. This is the perfect ladybug. I mean, butterfly. the perfect butterfly. Right there. Or don't put your arm next to the glue gun again, oh. okay? okay? You need to be safe. Okay. Where? Okay. I think you look cute. Oh, we should add a little, little sheepy friend. We should add a friend. You are adding friends. You put a butterfly and a ladybug. Um, I want some more friends. Like what? Uh, I've got dragonfly. You want to put a unicorn? Yeah, a unicorn. <laughs> a little unicorn. Yeah. Put it right there. Okay, hold on. Yours is looking beautiful, Mom. Yours looks beautiful, too. Mine looks cute because I'm a dork. Oh, it's <laughs> not done yet. There's a little unicorn. I want to add some stars. What about a tulip? I want to add some stuff. No, those are like confetti. Oh. Those are going to be hard to add. What about a tulip? A tulip? Sure, I'll add it in. Oh, it will be perfect. Like that. Yeah, in like, the grass? Yeah. I'm going to put a little dragon for me. So it can grow. There we go. I think decorating fences are cute. Yours is beautiful with the dragonfly. Yeah. Can you put it in sight? Hold on. Oh, I'm dropping. Dropping the tulip. Put it in sight. Yeah, they can see it. I moved the camera so they could see it. No, the the little flower. Yeah, I was holding it to glue it down. There you go. Okay, what do you think? This is beautiful. Oh, I know what. I know. One more thing I want to add. What? A bee. A bee and a flower? Yeah. Do you want blue, pink, or purple? 
add pink. Okay, you want to put it right here? I did. Like, right there? No. You, oh, look, you can put it under your sheepy. Like right here. Yes. Oh, look, we could put it right here. Like it's coming out of the grass or out of the plant. Like, like you did with this flower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And I know that these make flower grow. Bees make flowers grow. That's right. Yeah, they take because they transfer the pollen. Yeah. So here's our little wooden embellishments. So leave us a comment in the comments below and tell us what you think of our little our little embellishments. And I will, like I said, I'll leave the link to the little wooden pieces in the description. And um, you know, I'll leave you the links for all of these little charms too like the ladybug and the dragonfly and uh, the bee with the flower and the unicorn because I got all of those on Timu. So I'll leave you the links for all those little charms too uh, if you're interested in using them like we did. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing us create these little beautiful pieces. I'm actually going to put some ribbon on the back and hang these up in Aurora's room for her. So No, I want one down so it so we can make a little dollhouse for my big dolls. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll leave them. We'll leave them down, and you can put them in a dollhouse then. Yeah, that's to make it look cute. All right. So that's all we've got for now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us make these embellishments, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.